Welcome. Hello and welcome to Firelight in about three minutes. It is a game for two to five players. There is no solo mode. Playing time is just under an hour. It's a pretty simple game. The space race is back on, and this time it's corporations seeking to explore the solar system. Can you procure the right components and crew for your spaceship in this competitive market? Or will you end up piloting a misshapen ship nowhere fast? You win if at the end of the game you have the most points. The game ends when the last mission in one of these rows is completed, and completing missions gets you points. You can also gain points by winning these special awards. Competitive, only one company can be the best. Secret orders, your bids for various components and missions are hidden. Tile placement, how you build your ship is important. Player turn, ultimately you are working towards completing these missions. To complete a mission, you need to meet or exceed the value shown on it. Dice represent engines, green life support, and purple science tokens. Although your crew can be expended for shortfalls in life support, you monster. You will start with a ship core and five bidding tokens. These are numbers zero through four. When it is your turn, you will place one token face down on the board to indicate what component you are bidding on. You can add a crew token to add plus one to your bid. You can also bid on locations and missions. Keep playing until all players have placed their five tokens. Then you reveal them. An unopposed bid results in a win. And in a competing bid, the winner is the player whose numerical value is higher. The loser gains a crew as compensation. Note that it is the total number value that counts not the number of tokens. The locations allow you to increase an engine's power, gain a science, three crew, or change your ship layout. Take the components you want. Some will require you to spend crew. Attach them to your ship in any way that leaves no blocked connectors. Components with this symbol will generate a science each turn. You can also bid on missions, the winner gaining the full victory points and any runner-ups getting half. Then restock the components area and roll the engine dice, playing the highest dice in the highest engine rating slot and working down. It is now the next turn. Why would you like this game? Farlight is a nice simple bidding game with a high level of player interaction. Not knowing what your opponents have placed can lead to bluffs and counter bluffs, and the best part of the turn is revealing those contested bids. There are a bunch of ship components in the game and you'll have a lot of fun putting them together. And the missions are straightforward and use easy to understand icons. And overall, the game connects with its theme reasonably well. In general, this game is easy to teach and understand and would be good for families. It's also in a small box and at a lowish price point. The best thing about this game is building a big ship in order to fulfill one of the final missions in style. However, I have a hard time being too critical of Farlight as it does nothing that bad. But it also doesn't blow my socks off. It's an okay game that lacks a little bit of magic and I'm not entirely sure why. I'd play it again, but I'm in absolutely no rush to. Also, due to its low price point, some of the components are on the cheap and scarce side. If you like building ships with tiles, also check out Galaxy Trucker. And if you want space exploration, but a whole lot more complexity, try leaving Earth. Farlight, I have no strong feelings one way or the other. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.